grinding that myself by hand, I'm pretty happy with uh, this drill bit. I'm no expert at sharpening drills on a grinder. Okay, so here's the part we need to make. Three quarter inch diameter, five inches, 38 thousandths long. Two drilled and tapped holes, one inch deep. It doesn't say one inch, but that's what the customer told me. Okay, I've got a depth stop set up to cut these about one eighth oversized, and then we'll take it to final size over on the lathe. I'm going to be facing these guys off at uh, about 400 RPM. Okay, a friend of mine, his name is uh, Joe Hildreth. He runs the YouTube channel My Heap. I encourage you guys to go check him out. He's just getting his lathe up and running. But he was facing the other day and I was telling him about a tool like this. He's probably never noticed me using it. I use this a lot over here in my shop. We're probably going to be taking about 35 thousandths per cut, which is a pretty good amount for a, a facing job in stainless steel. I'm going to film this so Joe could go ahead and check out the use of this tool. And if you get a chance, go over and check out his channel. He's a nice guy. He actually uh, stopped by my shop when he was down here in Florida with him and his wife, and it was a pleasure to meet him. So I have you guys focused on the tool here. So we're just going to go ahead and bring this in. The saw cuts pretty straight. So I'm just going to bring it up against the face. I'm going to move it in approximately 35 thousandths. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to go ahead and lock down the carriage. And this is a pretty hefty cut in stainless steel, but we're going to let it rip. Joe, you'll see how that lead angle on that tool is going to help let this tool slide through. Bring the tool forward using the compound since the carriage is locked and chamfer the guy. So we'll bring this out, we'll flip it around. We'll just use the tool as a stop. dial some in with the compound since the carriage is still locked. Let her go. We're going to take a little bit more this time I believe. It's a pretty hefty cut in stainless steel. finish we get. Nice finish. Okay, so I got 5 inches, 117 thousandths. So, 
from 38 to 100 is 62 plus 17 72 plus 7 need to take off 79,000 off that guy so let's go over to the lathe and I'll show you how I do that okay I've got you off to the side here we're gonna set up the poor man's DRO over here in the chip pan put a little preload on it bring this guy to zero We need uh, 79 thousandths off of this thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off 35. We're going to do 35, 35, and then 9. Put that with some oil. 35. Get up to 70. Shot of oil. My saw cuts pretty good, so I think I'm going to shorten this up next time. Why I won't have quite so much to take off. Done. We'll take it out and we'll go measure it. Now we're looking for five inches and thirty-eight thousandths. Five inches, thirty-eight thousandths. Have to get into production mode. First, going to center drill it. So a little bit more. that with some oil and let it rip this bit here is the finished drill size for a 5 16th tap. Now I'm not going to tap this side yet because it's extremely hot. So while that's cooling down, we're going to do the other side. Had a lot of engagement with that big center drill. So we're using plenty of oil. Now the reason why I'm putting such a, a big center in there, just went over and grabbed a finished one. Got a chamfer over here. So I'm forming that now before I go ahead and drill the hole and tap it. So this way I don't have to do a second operation later. We're already in three quarters of an inch. Well before moving on to the tapping, this bar is extremely hot from all that drilling. 
so rather than try and tap a, a hot hole that's already expanded making the tapping even worse I throw it in a bucket of water cool it off well on the majority of these guys what I was originally doing was starting the hole with one of these uh, regular hand taps then I would move onto this nice spiral point tap that uh, my brother had sent me a while back and this one was working good for about 40 holes and after about 40 I had to start using a, a stone and sharpening this guy and it continued to uh, just kind of get worse from there so after I got to about 45 holes I decided I'm just going to go ahead and order some new taps which I did the spiral flute taps bottoming tap so we're going to give uh, this guy a try and see if we could take that down to about that depth right there which is a full inch now I've already had a couple of tap problems earlier in the job I spared you the grief of all that but uh, here's a broken off tap in one of these five inch ones the customer always sends extra material because he himself said he has broken dozens of taps in this stuff so there's victim number one and then on a, a 32 inch piece uh, out of the same lot I went ahead and broke one off in that so I cut that uh, that bar down into a bunch of five inch pieces for the customer as a courtesy save him the trouble of doing it so I just converted the uh, the damaged 32 inch piece down to uh, six five inch pieces and this tap here as you can see if it'll focus uh, this thing started to chip out uh, so that was on its way to uh, leaving me with a useless piece of material okay so to get started just go ahead and insert that and lightly tighten the little stair wrench we're going to flood this hole with oil bring in our tailstock put a little pressure on it and slowly get this started after I put it in back gears with this particular tap I just want to get four or five threads in there and then we'll swap over to the uh, spiral flute tap to finish it off alright so that started pretty good I probably got two or three good threads in there so we'll yank this guy off I'll move you. I'm not sure if this is a Starrett or a Greenfield tap wrench, but it just fits this 12 inch lathe. So I was already in probably two or three threads. I'm going to take it up to about five or six. most important thing is is not to push on the tap or push down on the tap you just want to rotate around the axis of the lathe and again with stainless steel you don't want to lollygag around this is stuff will work harden on you okay so we've got probably five or six good threads in there clear out the chips go ahead and flood this guy with oil once again get this one started and finish out this hole so we'll load it up with oil And we'll see how the 
spiral flute tap works out for us. It's feeling pretty good. Okay, that's it for that hole. So we'll flip it around, do the other side, and call it a day. Well, there we go. One inch deep threads in stainless steel. No idea why they need it that deep, but that's what I was told. That's what I'm doing. One down. Uh, the customer wanted 16 of the 5 inch ones and 8 of the 32 and a half. He's already picked those up. I believe I have 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here's the one we just did, number 16. This job's complete. Well, I really appreciate you guys joining me on this job. A little bit uh, labor intensive and a little bit boring to be filming all 16 of these but I showed you the one and this job turned out really nice uh, all these are within two or three thousandths of the uh, the finished size the customer called for so he's gonna have no problem using these uh, for whatever he does I just want to mention that the only metric that I have for knowing if you guys like what I'm producing over here on this channel as far as videos go is uh, please hit that like button and leave me a comment if, if you enjoy what you see over here on the channel it's really the only way I know that uh, what I'm producing for you guys to watch is something you're interested in because sometimes I have no ideas sometimes I'll put out a video and I think it's the worst thing that I ever made and it seems to be the most popular and then the ones that I thought I did a really good job on uh, hardly get any views uh, so you know I, I can't win for losing sometimes but uh, you guys are the judge uh, this channel is all about y'all so if you enjoy this content please hit the like button that lets me know that you actually like the video and uh, also leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel and until next time, this is Richard from Making Something From Nothing, and thanks for joining me over here in the shop. Y'all have a great day.